Hello, hi, it's Liz here and I'm back with week 14 of take 3. This week's take 3 is twine or string or any sort of uh, ribbon or anything you would like to use. Um, I have some paint charts, um, so we'll use some of them. And I also have as my focal point a sheet of cutouts from this month's Daphne's Diary. Uh, they are perfect autumn fall um, cutouts, so we'll use some of them. Okay, we'll just set the magazine aside and set aside these and we will keep the twine handy. So, the paint chips and the cutouts, these I have already cut out, as you can see, and I have paint chips here. So I'm just going to turn them into tags. I've got a little plastic, an old um, Starbucks plastic card, gift card, that the corner has been cut off. And I'm just going to use that as a guide to and flip it over for the other side and then line it up keep a good tight hold and we have a tag shape I'm not caring about the back obviously if you want your tag to be part of a journaling spot then you would need to do something with the back I am just going to stick it straight on to a page as decoration as some autumn decoration so there we are so i'm filming this ahead of sunday my take threes go out on a sunday afternoon because for some reason and i don't know what's caused it all of a sudden it takes hours and hours for a video to upload i used to get my videos to upload in about oh minutes five minutes ten minutes i mean really and now i don't know what's happened i don't know if we're going to need to clear out like reboot something or do something or oh, i don't know so we've just punched a couple of holes at the top using a, a plain old punch. And let me just get rid of that little circle there. And it doesn't really matter which one we're going to use for which. But, well, maybe it does matter. Because I do quite like the blue with the jumper and the pinky red with the pumpkin for some reason. <laughs> and a length of twine. So yeah, so now I'm go now I'm having to think. I didn't used to think about when I was uploading things because I could just do it kind of instantly. But now I've got to think. Oh, that's going to take a wee while. So we had best we had best be organised. So a few round. A few uh, the twine round, and we're just going to tie a knot and trim off a little bit and a little bit there, and then we'll see if we can make it a wee bit fancy. There we are, and then we'll just use this little bit for the top there. So I think, I don't know what we're going to do. I film on my, what I do is I film on my iPhone and then I use iMovies. And then what I do is I email it to myself. I know that sounds crazy. Or I airdrop it to the, to the Mac. And even that is taken like, so that used to happen instantly. And now it's like, oh, it's not going through yet. Oh, it's just, I don't know. It's just the whole, the whole process has gone from a few minutes 
I'm going to have it slightly off the edge just to be a bit fancy. So we won't put glue on that edge there. So I don't know what's what's going on there. I think we'll... I don't know. I think I'll try switching everything off and back on. And maybe that'll do. These are quite cute, aren't they? These um, cutouts are quite big and bold. I like it. Well, I like that kind of style. So, same again. Get some twine. And we'll just wrap it round. Just kind of loosely. Oh, I must have cut this bit much longer. Let me find the end. There we are. Managed to put the knot to the side. Doesn't matter. We can fiddle about with them. Um, with where it is once I've tied this second knot. There we are. Pull it round a wee bit there and then just spread out these. A little bit. There. I like when it crosses over like that. Yeah. We'll use a bit of this for the top. Sweater. Is that what you see? Sweater weather. <laughs> Need to put this one up a wee bit. In fact, what we'll do is we'll move the string down a little bit. Or the twine, whatever we want to call that. And then we've got room, yeah, for our cuff. And again, I'm just going to keep it off to the side a little bit so we don't want to put glue down that edge. Yeah. Nice. Good. Proper autumn feel. And this is the one I did before I came on, of my little practice one. Doesn't that look yummy? So I think that, you know, and I don't know, I think they're radishes, because they've got like little bits coming out the bottom there. Um, but it does seem odd that you would put a radish <laughs> on your saucer. But maybe it's some sort of herbal tea. So we have our book, our Take Three book. And I think there's a page back here somewhere that I quite fancied. Yes, I thought beside these misses from this book page, there's last week's, quite nice. I thought this was quite autumny colours. And would work quite well with one of the tags. Like I say, I'm just going to stick it right in. In fact, do you know what it could be? It could be a, a side pocket if I stuck down three sides. I might just do that, actually. Oh, I can't decide which one now. 
that's quite nice because it picks up the little bits of pink in the ears. I quite like that. Okay, I think we'll go with that one. And I think when it comes to it, I'm just going to glue it down along the top, down the side and along the bottom. And then we can tuck something else inside there. That's a good plan. But I'm not going to stick anything down just now because I want to get my photograph done. So that's this week's take three. If you don't have paint chips, then any sort of patterned paper or cardstock, anything that you have. If you don't have any, well, you probably have stickers or a stamp or something that you can use as a focal point and a little bit of twine. And um, yeah, super easy. But I do really like these this week. Yeah, good. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. And if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.